Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play a song called Can't Remember to Forget You by Shakira. And it starts out with a cool little intro where we start on a B minor chord. There's a couple different ways you may want to play B minor. You could do it as a bar on 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the 4th fret on the D string, and the pinky on the G string 4th fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. Now, you may also want to think about lifting off the pinky and making that B minor 7. Or another way to play B minor 7 would be doing first finger on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the G string 2nd fret, and the 3rd finger on the high E string 2nd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B minor 7. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the B minor, we go to an E minor chord when we play E minor. First finger stays on the A string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now on the E minor, you may want to also think about putting in the third finger on the B string on the third fret, pinky on the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor 7 chord, so that could be kind of cool for the E minor. And then from the E minor, we'll be going to an A major chord, when we play A major. The first finger goes to the D on the second fret, the second finger on the G string second fret, and the third finger on the B string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the A we go to a cool little hit on a D major chord. We play D major. First finger goes to the G string on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And on that intro, it's almost like kind of stop time on the D where you may want to do just kind of a big down and then kind of kill the strings. So through that intro, you got kind of the B minor, E minor, A major, and then kind of a D hit. But there's a lot of different ways that you may want to think about strumming through the song. You could kind of work it as kind of an eight down idea, kind of that B minor, E minor, A major, and I'm kind of adding in a little bit of right hand muting to kind of make that more interesting. Or you could do a down, down, up, up, down, up, which is one of my favorite strum patterns. So you can take the B minor and just try that a lot. Just down, down, up, up, down, up. down. that through the intro you'd have that B minor down up up down up B minor down up down up A down up up down up D or uh, something else I like to add to a song like this is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down it could throw a bass for the chord so on the B minor you'd have the A for the bass on the E minor you'd have low E for the bass on the A you'd have the A for the bass and on the D you'd have the D for the bass Try it that way, you'd have B minor with an A bass, B minor with a B bass, A with an A bass, and kind of a D hit. Or what it sounds like in the recording is something called a reggae feel, where you may want to do kind of a, or a ska feel actually, it's kind of a bass up, 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 bass up, 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 up. And after all those ups, I'm kind of killing the strings with my right hand to kind of, kind of punctuate that. So bass up, kill it up, kill it up, kill it up. Try it that way, you'd have B minor, A minor, A, D hit. So you want to kind of play around with that too. And then from that intro, then we go into our verse part. And our verse is actually kind of that same progression. And you could kind of use those same ideas through it. But there is this cool little hit on the D chord at the end where you may want to do a D major. And then you'll kind of hear the bass note go to the A string on the fourth fret, which is the C sharp note. And so what you could do is kind of take the first finger and borrow the D, G, and B and kind of strum the A string to, to the, the, the B string and end up with an A slash C sharp or A major with a C sharp in the bass on, on that change. And it might be kind of cool if, if, if you're doing the, the down, down, up, up, down, up, you could do a down, down, up on each of those chords. Or you could do a bass down up on each of those chords. Or if you're digging on the ska feel, you could kind of do a bass up, up, bass up, up on the change. So through our verse, we have kind of that B minor, B minor, A, D, A slash C sharp, B minor, B minor, A, D, A slash C sharp, B minor, Sharp, E minor, E minor, and then we kind of end 
it was a big A major in it to kind of lead into our chorus part. And our chorus starts out on the B minor, and then we go to our A, and then we go to the E minor chord, but then we go to a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger stays on the A string, second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now you can also think about putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret, and if you strum all those together, that's another way you can play your G major chord. Now from the G, then we'll go into an F sharp minor chord. We play F sharp minor. First finger goes across the entire second fret, third finger on the A string fourth fret, and the pinky on the D string fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor. You may also want to think about lifting off the pinky, or if you're trying to avoid the bar chords, you can kind of make that a smaller bar by doing the top two or the top three or the top four strings to kind of make that after your F sharp minor. And then from the F sharp minor, we go back to B minor, and then our A, and then our G, and then we kind of do that D major to the A slash C sharp accent that we were doing before. So we tried that, well, we could kind of work that those same feels actually. You could work kind of that down idea, or the down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you could work the bass down, up, up, down, up. Or if you're digging on that G, F sharp there, that's a little weird. You'd have low E for the bass, and then F sharp minor would have a low E bass. And you're working the, the basses through that. So you have B minor with an A bass, A, B minor, G, F sharp minor, B minor. stop. I think if I was playing it out, I'd almost think about kind of bringing that back, that D hit from the intro. And then from there, then we go into kind of an intro or turn. So we're kind of back into kind of our, our intro idea of kind of that B minor, D e minor, A, D, A slash C sharp. Now, just as another idea though, um, you may want to think about using power chords through this, especially if you want to make it really heavy and this could work really well in the chorus. So instead of a B minor chord, you could use a B5 power chord where you do the first finger on the A string second fret, third finger on the D string uh, fourth fret, and kind of strum just the A and the D strings together, and that sounds a B5 power chord. And then for the E, you could use an E5 power chord where you do just the low E string and the second fret on the A, or you could kind of make that a seventh fret on the A, third finger on the D string nine for an E5 power chord. And then for the A, we could go to an A5 power chord, which you can do open A and second fret on the D, or you can do a fifth fret on the low E string and seven on the A. And then from there, we could go to the D, a D5 power chord, where you could kind of shift strings and have first finger on the fifth fret on the, on the A, third finger on the seventh fret on the D, and kind of work it that way. And that A slash C sharp, you may want to use something called A3 slash C sharp, where you can kind of take that shape and then move your first finger down to the fourth fret on the A string, pinky on the D string seven, and kind of work that change. So if you wanted to, you could make it really heavy that way, kind of a E5, 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 E3 slash C sharp, B minor, B minor, A, so kind of gravitate to those downs to kind of make it a little bit more rocky, a little heavier. And then from there, then we'll be going into our next verse, so you kind of back, be kind of keeping that going, that B, B minor, A, D, A3 slash C sharp, B5. Places actually where you may want to kind of listen out for where some of the hits are. And then A, B, A, B, 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 and kind of work that for your G5 power chord. And then for the F sharp minor, you could use an F sharp 5 power chord, where you just kind of take that shape and slide it down to second fret. So now I got second fret on the, on the low E and then fourth fret on the A string. So you could kind of work it that way and kind of work the chorus with power chords too and have the B5, A5, B5, G5, F sharp 
five, B five, A five, G five, B five, A through slash C sharp. into our verse part. Now you could kind of take all these ideas though and kind of figure out how you want to kind of work the two. You know, or if you know other licks around these chords too, you know, feel free to kind of take this lesson and run with it any way you want to. It'd be kind of cool to see what you can say with the song. Kind of watch out for some of those hits too. And then from there, then we go into our last chorus. So we're back to our B. want to go back to the B minor to make people clap. But that's the basics of how you can strum through Can't Remember to Forget You by Shakira. So, good luck! <laughs>